welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Uh, small little adventure bike accident causing me to break my ankle and I was pretty much offline for about four months, four and a half months that I had to work, walk on crutches. So, long overdue. Let's get the PR900. Uh, new pressure gauge fitted, got this from uh, Robert Lane. And instead of the original pressure gauge which was in the back here, this one fits in the front and with the regulator now fitted I can actually have a, a pressure reading of what the chamber pressure is which I previously had no idea of. So um, I'm going to undo the, the original valve in the back here. Keep in mind I've already dry fired the rifle, I've emptied pretty much all the air that was in it. There's maybe 20 or 30 bar, I don't want to go until it's totally empty, don't want to damage my valve, so I've shot until I heard that it sounded reasonably empty. And uh, now I'm going to very, very slowly proceed to undo the valve in the front or the refilling socket, whatever you want to call it. Slowly, slowly, and hopefully by the time the O-ring reaches the threads of the, um, of the cylinder, it will purge out the remaining bit of air. You don't want to undo this with 100, 200 bars in here. That's just going to cause big problems as we'll shoot this out. So let me continue with that and see where it, how it goes. Previously, I could remove the uh, pressure gauge from the original rifle. That would purge out the remaining air. Now, with the way my regulator is fitted, I cannot do that. So um, this is the way I'm proceeding. Hopefully I don't get too much of a surprise. I can hear air coming out. Yeah, it's purging air, so I'm just going to leave it a while and uh, leave it to purge this air out as much as it wants to. And um, then I'll continue, undo that, fit the new pressure gauge, fill it up, and then we'll immediately get to the test results to see how the grouping compares the from uh, the non-regulated version with all the speeds that I got to see how does this compare now that I've got a sub 12 foot pound regulator fitted to the rifle how many shots can I fire what is the grouping what is the consistency and end of the day was it worth it to install the lane regulator so let me get to that and uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I've got the table set up on the shooting range. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in South Africa. Sun is out, probably about 30 Celsius, no wind, beautiful. So, but let me get to it and then I'll get back to you guys as soon as that's done. Sixteen point six meters. So let's say from the muzzle, sixteen meters to the target. That's all I've got in the backyard available. Uh, it's going to be a ten-shot grouping to see what the grouping is compared to the original grouping, and I'll compare those two targets afterwards. And then also have a look at the consistency of the velocity. I've got the crony set up in front here, and uh, we'll have a quick look. I'm using the single-shot tray. Uh, it gives a bit better accuracy in, in my specific model. So just to be fair. I'm using that and I will give a comparison afterwards of how she's fired. That was 739, 739 on the first one, compared to previously, uh, I got about, on the, when it was 200 bar, I got about 945. 
So I've got 200 foot difference, but remember I asked for this rifle to be sub 12 foot pound. So I'll do the calculations just now. Seven three five. Wrong. Well, that's very close. Seven three five. Seven three seven. Wow. That's that's very close. That is. Um, that's very, very good consistency there. Seven three six. Wow. I haven't had more than a four foot spread so far. Seven three three. That's a bit of a drop. Seven three five. Seven three five again. Gentlemen, this is very, very good consistency. This is very, very good. These pellets are hardly fluctuating in, in speed at all. That was a bit of a fly, I pulled it to the left, so uh, shot number 8 at 734, I could feel that one pulled a bit, so uh, that was definitely a fly to the left, my, my mistake. 734, wow, shot number 10. Seven three five. That is incredible. Wow, unbelievable. One at seven three nine, and the rest, and another one at seven three seven. The rest seven three five, three five, three five, three five, three four, three four, three six. <laughs> that is impressive. Um, the grouping can still be tightened up. I haven't experimented with pellets uh, yet. At this stage, I'm using the. Um, heavy pellets, the 10.34 grains from uh, JSB. I'll put up another target now, redo that, and I'll go down to the lighter pellets and see how she likes the lighter pellets. But absolutely impressed with that. Um, that consistency from that lane regulator is insane. And that's about 20 shots I fired. I shot about 10 shots just to Again, after working on the rifle to settle the regulator, they were just randomly shot. Um, so I've done about 20 shots and I see I'm down to 150 bar. The regulator, uh, not sure what pressure the regulator, I think it was 135 bar. I'll check on the manual. But that means up to now, I definitely have about 30 shots. Um, sub, -MO, uh, sub 12 foot bounce, I have about 30 shots. But uh, let me go get that target put new targets up and we'll use the lighter pellets and see what they do. But this consistency is absolutely fantastic. Really, really impressed with it. These numbers are really good. Really, really good. I'm going to change over now to the uh, 8.44 grains from JSB just to see how the rifle likes that and see what the consistency are with those. Again, using the uh, single tray to load and and we're getting seven nine two. Seven nine four.
Okay, I've just fired 10 shots with the 8.44 grains and I am super, super impressed. I've had less than a four foot spread in 10 rounds, ranging from 792 foot from my first one till 790 from the last one. One pellet dropped to 785. That was probably a defected pellet. Uh, the rest gave me a four foot spread. That is unmatched in any one of these rifles that I have, PCPs that I have here. The grouping, it seems to love it as well. Uh, this is the last grouping I got now at 26 meters, except for one little flyer. Uh, absolutely stunning. That is the 11 millimeter from outside to outside, center to center, less than 10 millimeter grouping. I am super chuffed. Awesomely happy with the rifle. Thanks to Robert Lane. He supplied me with a regulator. I'm not sponsored or paid for the video, but he did send me a regulator and said if I want to fit one to one of these rifles, um, he will uh, sponsor the regulator. So the regulator was sponsored by Robert Lane. The numbers, whether you like Robert Lane's regulators or not, they speak for themselves. It's a phenomenal piece of kit and it matches the ones I fitted to the crawls. Really super consistency and by far the most affordable regulator out there. Link below for where if you want to purchase them for his, uh, uh, I think it's on eBay and I think he's got a Facebook or something channel that sells them as well. Link is below. I'm super happy. Have a look at the numbers at the end. And in a week from now, we'll be taking this baby out uh, with one of my friend's sons. He shoots quite well and he will help us uh, eradicate a lot of house sparrows and some finches at a farm that eat all the chicken feed. That video, hopefully in less than two weeks from now, will be on the channel. Okay, let me get to the editing. Speak to you all later. Cheers.